Preparing automatic repair usually appears when Windows encounters a critical error during startup and attempts to diagnose and repair the issue automatically. However if you notice Windows stuck preparing automatic repair, it indicate Windows has encountered a problem and cannot proceed as expected. There are several possible reasons why this problem may occurs, it may be critical system files necessary for the boot process corrupted. Issues with the master boot record, MBR, boot configuration data, BCD, problems with hardware components such as a failing hard drive, faulty RAM, or malicious software can damage system files, modify boot settings, or interfere with the normal operation of Windows, leading to boot problems and the need for automatic repair. To fix the problem the first thing you need to wait for the repair result, or forcefully shut down your computer and start Windows from installation media to access advanced options and fix the problem. When you get similar screen click on troubleshoot then advanced options. Here access command prompt and follow on screen instructions display this video to repair master boot record, this is a crucial part of the boot process that contains information about how your computer's hard drive is partitioned and where to find the operating system. First run command boot rec slash fixmber. This command repairs or replaces the master boot record, MBR, on the system partition. The MBR is a small piece of code located at the beginning of the hard drive that contains information about how the operating system is organized on the disk and how to boot into it. If the MBR becomes corrupted or overwritten by another bootloader, using this command can restore it to a working state. Next run command boot sec slash nt60 sys. This command updates the master boot code for hard disk partitions to support starting Windows. Specifically, slash NT60 refers to the boot code used for Windows Windows 10 and 11 systems. Sys specifies that the system partition's boot sector should be updated. It ensures that the boot sector is configured correctly to boot into Windows. Now run bootrec slash fix boot this command writes a new boot sector to the system partition to replace a potentially corrupted or damaged one. It's particularly useful when the boot sector is causing boot problems, such as the preparing automatic repair loop. And finally run command bootrec slash rebuild to scan all disks for installations compatible with Windows and allows the user to choose which installations to add to the boot configuration data, BCD, store. The BCD store contains boot configuration parameters and controls how the operating system is loaded. Running this command can fix issues with the BCD store, such as missing or corrupted entries, which can prevent Windows from booting properly. Now run system file checker command sfc slash scan now to scan for and repair corrupted or missing system files in on your computer that might prevent Windows start normally. This will scan all protected system files and replace any corrupted or modified files with the correct versions from the Windows installation media or a cached copy on the system. SFC command help ensure the integrity of system files and can fix various issues, including startup problems, crashes, and system instability caused by corrupted files. In addition run check disk, check disk, command to check for and repair disk errors on your computer. This will scan the file system for errors, such as bad sectors, file system corruption, and logical file system errors. Depending on the parameters used, check disk can fix detected errors, recover data from bad sectors, and mark bad sectors as unusable to prevent further data loss. Running check disk can help improve disk performance, prevent data loss, and resolve various disk-related issues, including system crashes, file system corruption, and disk fragmentation. Once done, close command prompt and restart your computer to check if Windows start without any problems or errors. Well if you still have problem access normal Windows screen, try booting your computer into safe mode. Again you need to access advanced options, you can click on advanced option after startup repair, or use installation media to access advanced options then start your computer in safe mode. First boot from installation media, skip the first screen then click on repair your computer. Select troubleshoot then advanced options. Now click on startup settings, then restart option. And finally press F4 to boot Windows safe mode, F5 enable internet access. Now Windows start only with the essential drivers and services, which can help isolate and identify the cause of the problem. Let's open settings and navigate installed apps. Here look for recently installed apps or unnecessary third-party apps and uninstall them.
Now reboot your computer to check if Windows started without any startup repair or errors. Well if your computer is stuck in the preparing automatic repair loop after a recent update, you can try uninstalling the problematic update using the Advanced Startup Options or Windows Recovery Environment WinRE. Again start your computer from Installation Media and access Advanced Options. This time select the Uninstall Updates option to remove recent Windows update that may back your system's stable state. Again performing a system restore can indeed be an effective solution to fix the preparing automatic repair loop, especially if the issue was triggered by recent changes to your system, such as software installations, updates, or configuration changes. Again access advanced options, then select the system restore option. Select a restore point that predates the appearance of the preparing automatic repair loop issue. Choose a restore point when your system was functioning correctly. Follow the on-screen instructions to start the system restore process. Windows will begin restoring your system to the selected restore point. Here make a note, system restore will revert system settings, installed programs, and drivers to the state they were in at the time of the selected restore point. Your personal files should remain unaffected. Now check if PC start normally.